welcome to the interactive body balance radio show for health and fitness tips. All right, here we go. Welcome back to Interactive Body Balance Radio. I'm your host, Mike Dasick. And thank you guys for joining our show today from all over this great earth, where we talk health, fitness, nutrition, and personal development. The show will air on Easter weekend 2021. I hope you're all keeping well, healthy, spending some time with the family, just improving your lives, you know, getting better every day, uh, and just being the best version of yourself. Um, as you guys know, you know, we get a lot of calls, a lot of emails. We get to hear what's going on in the world, what people are suffering from. You know, uh, since when we present, we hear it. And, and we know people are struggling, right? There's lots of great going on in the world, but our job is to make you feel better, to give you tips, and just keep improving. That's all we can do every single day. All right. We've known for a long time, and I think I've done a couple of shows on this about combining foods for optimal nutrition and optimal health. So it's one thing to have healthy foods, like just say you go eat, and again, healthy is a generic term. I only say this because as you know, we run specialized labs on people to determine what foods work for them. But overall, just speaking, let's just say you go have some you know, broccoli, spinach, kale, avocados, whatever may be good. They're good on their own, but when you combine them with other foods that augment them, they become even better, more absorbed. You know, no matter where I go, I get questions about this all the time. Do I, you know, the line is, you are what you eat. That's true partially. You are what you eat, but you also are what you digest. What do you absorb? And this is crucial. And many people spend a lot of money running tests to see if they're absorbing the nutrients that they're getting from the food. So today I'm going to give you three, maybe four, uh, combination of foods that are helpful for your overall health. All right? And, it's, and you, you'll get these as you go along. You'll learn about them. I always tell people about combining foods. But there's some unique ones here. All right, here we go. Healthy fats and carotenoids. And I don't know if anyone's ever heard that term before, and I'll explain it better. But you're looking at stuff like avocados, right, with tomatoes. And some people said, you know, avocados and even asparagus foods or, or beets. And, you know, someone's talking about here avocados, so the healthy fats and salsa uh, to bring together. You know, bright colorful vegetables that are for instance in salsa and i've said this before it could be anything any of the carotenoids but are rich in carotenoids right and they're disease fighting plant pigments that help you protect uh, that protect you from certain diseases chronic diseases so carotenoids are very helpful um, and they're very good when you add the healthy fats in like i said the avocados it could be other forms of healthy fats too and you know we love them um, you can maximize the protective benefits um, of them Right? Again, there's a study here I'm looking at in the Journal of Nutrition found that eating avocados with salsa boosted the absorption of lycopene, you know, carotenoid and tomatoes, by almost five times. So combining, let's just say guacamole, avocados in general, I know we're cutting some up for dinner tonight, uh, to your salad, right, um, is very beneficial. So some other carotenoid-based foods, I get this question all the time, apricots, asparagus, like I said, beef liver, beets, cantaloupe, carrots, kale, uh, collard greens, peaches, pink grapefruit, you get it, sweet potatoes, of course tomatoes, which you just mentioned, right, or the salsa, so the tomatoes and the salsa, very good. Get your healthy fats with those carotenoid-based foods. Folks, you're on your way. Number two, turmeric and black pepper. Or piperine. You guys have heard that too. Compound in it, in the pepper. They have health benefits on their own, right? But, you know, turmeric and black pepper combined, very helpful. So, as piperine enhances the curcumin absorption, so found in turmeric, obviously, uh, in the body by up to 2,000%. So, you can enhance the curcumin absorption in the body. So, anti inflammatory. Very helpful by combining those two. I, I'm trying to skip over this one a lot because you guys know I've talked about turmeric and curcumin, astaxanthin, uh, you know, all of these really, really good anti-inflammatories, right? Boswellia, so helpful. They reduce inflammation. They improve digestion. They're very good. Putting the two together, the turmeric and the black pepper, very good. These spices going to help you guys out. I have a, I think I post on social media, just a, a turmeric powder I pour in my teas, 
really good. It's got it's great. It's got probiotics in it too. Just go on my Instagram or my Facebook and you'll see the video I did. So very helpful. Number two, that's number two. Number three, vitamin C and iron. So as you can know, imagine I have a lot of patients with these issues. Low iron, you know, not getting enough vitamin C. Put these two together. It is a very common nutritional deficiency in the U.S. and in Canada. Uh, you know, the lack of iron, low iron. Um, and we all know it's so critical, right, for carrying oxygen throughout the body. It's a very crucial ingredient, hemoglobin. Um, just important, right? So low iron can lead to anemia. I have those patients too. That causes fatigue, muscle weakness, hair loss, etc. So get, you know, your adequate sources. So what do you eat? Iron-rich foods, you know, with some vitamin C on the side. So some vegetarian uh, you know, people combining vegetarian source of iron with vitamin C rich foods like citrus foods enhance the uptake of the important mineral. Um, some other points uh, as well here. Try making a colorful salad with iron rich spinach, sliced strawberries, which are surprisingly high in vitamin C. Other combos are broccoli with bell peppers, chickpeas with tomatoes. Um, you guys get the point. Some other good iron based foods just in general, team leafy greens. Um, meat and poultry, you know, so this is from the, you know, if you're going to not be vegetarian or vegan, some liver, seafood, uh, nuts and seeds, as I've written about, talked about, you get the point. Very helpful. And that will give you guys your bonus here. Nuts, hemp seeds, and coconut oil. So this is number four, all right? Hemp seeds and coconut oil. Magnesium in the seeds um, can help with sleep issues. I talk about magnesium all the time. Um, as a laxative too, but because I talked about it to a client yesterday, but magnesium and seeds uh, can help with the sleep issues, the bone density, hypertension, you get it. They're much, much better absorbed when you join those with medium train triglycerides. So MCT, I've talked about coconut, I've talked about MCTs, MCT oil, et cetera, et cetera. Um, put them together, folks. Very, very helpful. It'll help with all those other aforementioned symptoms. Um, so many ways to do it. Smoothies, right? Uh, you guys know me. I could go on forever about this. So hemp seeds, coconut oil, number four, right? Vitamin C and iron, very good too. Turmeric and black pepper, and then healthy fats and the carotenoid-based foods like tomatoes or salsa or any of that great stuff. That is a whirlwind, but you see how these foods supplement, augment, enhance each other. So powerful, so powerful. Try it out. Let's see how it goes. All right. The website, MikeDasic.com, is being revamped as we speak. They are working on it. Uh, can't wait to see the end result. Can't wait to promote it. Lots of great stuff happening over at M-I-K-E-D-A-C-I-U-K.com. I believe it's in beta right now. It's it's just being it's being worked on. Uh, info at MikeDasic.com will stay the same. Always email us, info at MikeDasic.com. We're blessed even on Good Friday, you know, Easter weekend to get emails. Thank you, guys. Right, and of course, social media, Mike Dasick, Interactive Body Balance. You guys can reach us there anytime. Go over, follow. We give out free content. As I said, the best thing you can do in this world is give, right? Keep improving who you are and what you give. So start for me, study, 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 learn, 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 read, 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 and give back. All right, that's what we do. All right, and the books, they're on the website. Don't even need to talk about it. And, then, and one of them is even free, so you can go get them. Uh, we're blessed. Okay. What do I tell my kids every day? Kids got to work hard. Number one, you got to work hard. No substitute for hard work. It doesn't matter. Even on days off, we work hard. Right? You got to work hard. Number two, you got to add value. That means add your skill set to the world. Number three, got to help other people. That means pull up chairs, open doors, give up your time. Uh, so, you know, I always say volunteer, right? You can volunteer. It's just your time, but it's in times important. But, you know, some people might not have a lot of money, but do that. But give up your money too. If you do charities and, and benefits and, and help people and feed the needy, I don't know. I mean, just help, right? And number four, smile and have some fun. I already said it's Easter weekend up here uh, in Canada. I guess it's Easter weekend all around the world, but I mean, it's springtime up here, so it's a little cooler. But go have some fun. Get outside if you can. Hike. Get out in nature. You know, it's just amazing times, right? And it's all how you look at the world. Be an optimist. Don't be a pessimist. Too many pessimists. It's easy to be mean. It's easy to be critical. I really believe this. It's easy to be um, difficult. It's It's... But it's much better and much more rewarding to be kind and give and optimistic and uh, and just be a good person, right? Team, live with passion, live with purpose, live with intent. I hope you guys are doing real well. Any questions, you know where to reach us, and we'll talk to you real soon.